Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with my iPhone 3GS and an anti-glare film set from a company called Power Support. So basically what happened is I dropped my iPhone and as iPhones often do, it cracked. So uh, I'll try to get a good picture of it. This really isn't the best camera for it, but it's all I got right now. So uh, basically it cracked right here and you can see the uh, kind of the spider webbing and that as far as I concern, I'm concerned it was a pretty lucky crack and uh, yeah it was you know it's not on the screen it's kind of restricted the corner and as much as it sucks that my glass cracked you know it's not that bad, that bad but what happened is you could see right here it's uh, it's starting to spider web a little bit more and the initial crack was right here and now I have it going up here and I'm afraid that it's gonna expand even though most of this is all under the glass it's at, you know at a lower la layer I brought it to the Apple store they said yeah uh, 200 bucks for a new a new lens or, uh, sorry a new uh, crystal or whatever so yeah not so great what I uh, did pick up in the meantime while I decide what I want to do is this. This is an anti-glare film set. It's uh, two precision cut screen films and one pre-installation film. And it's uh, for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. And uh, it's available at the Apple Store. It's uh, $15. Yikes. But I guess there is two of them and they're good. It's supposed to be good for a couple months each. So I picked it up. Uh, basically my thinking is I could put it on here and uh, maybe prevent the cracking from expanding or really more importantly if uh, the cracking does get any worse, you know, uh, stop myself from getting cut in the face or stop my chin stubble from getting caught in those cracks. But like I said, at this point there, it's really not I could barely even feel the cracks right here. This little one on the bottom, I could feel a bit, but I thought a little protection might be a good idea. So for $15, it uh, might be worth it. Plus this is uh, anti-glare coating. So I've been meaning to try this out. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So uh, opening it up here, the power support anti-glare film for iPhone 3G and 3GS. I'm trying to be extra delicate with this because it just cost me $15. Plus, I'm thinking these films are going to be sort of sensitive. So yeah, nothing else in there. And here we have a little bag. And inside the baggie we have screen one, screen two, and then this must be the cleaning film. Yeah, the, that's the pre-installation film. So, I'm not sure if you guys could pick this up. Here we have the pre-installation film diagram. Looks like we get this paper-backed piece. And we put it on the iPhone, stick it down, and we uh, pull it off. That's going to clean off the iPhone screen. Uh, any dust or hairs or any junk like that should come off. After that, what we do is we apply, uh, sorry, then we apply the, the main one to it, slide it on, and then rub it with a cloth to squeegee out any bubbles. I might use a, a credit card or something like that to push any of those out if it uh, doesn't work right. Uh, after that, it says that you could troubleshoot by removing any dust because this film right here, the you know, the anti-glare film, it's removable and it's also it can be cleaned or uh, realigned or whatever so 
Anyway, I'm just going to run through it now and don't expect magic. This is my first time doing this. And I'm famously imprecise with things like this. The installation instructions basically say clean your film first, a lint free cloth, remove the white paper backing from the pre insulation film, so on and so forth. Start starting at one edge, peel back the screen, more lint free cloth, yeah. Temporary bubbles, nothing important. Anyway, uh, yeah, and work in a dust free environment. I don't know where I'm supposed to find one of those. I don't have any clean rooms handy. So I'm gonna work in my relatively dust free desk. So anyway, here goes, sorry for taking so long. I'm gonna rub it with my lint free cloth right now. Looks pretty clean. So this is the pre-installation film. Apparently I just put it on. It should take off any sort of junk on my phone and then pull it uh, I don't see anything maybe there's some microscopic dust it picked up anyway so now we move on I'm gonna have to align this properly and it looks like we just they want to start with the whole side Yeah, I shouldn't have had like three cups of coffee before doing this, but it looks like the fit on the bottom isn't quite perfect. It looks pretty good. And you can see that I have a couple bubbles there, and these I'm supposed to kind of squeegee out. I, uh, for this you could use, if you have one of those plastic squeegees for sticker applications, that would work. Or, like I said, a credit card, which I'm probably not going to want to put on camera. I'm going to use this edge right here. They also, in the diagram, they use a, a plastic, uh, not a plastic, they use a, some sort of cloth. I don't know why that makes any more sense than anything else, but see, uh, my issue is I'm, I don't want to be too forceful with the glass. I don't I don't think it'll break further, but I don't really see any reason to be too tough on it. Anyway, you can see on the bottom that I'm uh, only going to be able to do so good of a job because my bottom is a little bit jacked up there. And so I'm not expecting magic out of this, but uh, yeah, looks okay. And it's anti-glare, which uh, some people love, some people you know don't really care for. There's a crystal version if you do want to maintain your your glossy look there. And that was also 14.95, same deal, just not anti-glare. So yeah, this is the power support anti-glare film something or other for the iPhone 3G and 3GS and uh, here's my iPhone 3GS and I guess I won't cut my face open with it now which is nice. This is Sal Pangeloso from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.